Known for its breathtaking natural beauty, tropical climate, and welcoming culture, Costa Rica has long been a top destination for retirees from around the world. But is this lush Central American paradise the perfect spot for your retirement? In today's video, we'll explore the pros and cons of retiring in Costa Rica, from affordable living, healthcare, and residency options to the unique challenges of daily life. This guide will help you decide if Costa Rica is the right place to spend your golden years. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more retirement tips, travel guides, and lifestyle content. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our latest videos. Now, let's get started. Let's begin by looking at the pros, why so many retirees choose Costa Rica as their ideal retirement destination. One of the biggest reasons retirees are drawn to Costa Rica is its affordable cost of living. Compared to the United States, Canada, and much of Europe, Costa Rica offers a lower cost of living while maintaining a high quality of life. Whether you choose to settle in the bustling capital of San Jose or in a quieter coastal town, you'll find that housing, healthcare, and daily expenses are much more manageable than in many Western countries. Housing costs in Costa Rica can vary depending on the region, but even in popular areas like the Central Valley or beach towns, a two-bedroom home can cost anywhere between $600 and $1,500 per month. Smaller, less touristy towns are even more affordable, with rent prices dropping below $600. Groceries, dining out, and transportation are also inexpensive, allowing retirees to live comfortably on a budget of $2,000 to $3,000 per month. Additionally, Costa Rica has no shortage of local markets where fresh produce, seafood, and local goods are available at low prices. If you're open to adopting a more local lifestyle, you can further reduce your living costs by shopping in these markets and eating out at affordable sodas, which are small local restaurants. Another major draw for retirees is Costa Rica's high-quality healthcare system, which is both affordable and accessible. The country offers two healthcare systems, a public option known as CAJA, and a thriving private healthcare sector. As a legal resident, retirees are eligible for the public healthcare system, which provides excellent care at minimal costs. Costa Rica's public healthcare system is funded by a small percentage of your monthly income, typically between 7 and 11 percent, giving you access to services that cover everything from doctor visits to surgeries. For retirees who prefer quicker access to specialists or private hospitals, Costa Rica's private health care is also affordable and provides excellent care. Private health insurance costs significantly less than in countries like the United States, with premiums ranging from $50 to $150 per month depending on age and coverage. Costa Rica's healthcare system is highly regarded internationally with many doctors and specialists trained in the United States or Europe. English-speaking doctors are common in expat areas, especially in private clinics, making it easy for retirees to navigate the healthcare system. Costa Rica is known for its peaceful and relaxed way of life often summarized in the popular saying Pura Vida, meaning pure life. This laid-back attitude reflects the country's overall peacefulness, both in terms of daily life and political stability. Costa Rica is often considered one of the safest and most politically stable countries in Latin America with no standing army since 1949 and a strong focus on human rights. 
Ticos, as Costa Ricans are known, are welcoming and friendly, making it easy for expats to integrate into local communities. Whether you're living in an expat-friendly area like Atinas or Nosara, or a quieter rural town, you'll find that Costa Ricans are warm and helpful. The country has a strong sense of community, and expats often form close-knit social groups. Retirees can enjoy a slower pace of life with less stress, more time outdoors, and a deep connection to both nature and the local culture. Costa Rica has some of the most retiree-friendly residency options in Central America. The most popular option for retirees is the Pensionado Visa, which is designed specifically for those with a stable pension income. To qualify, retirees need to demonstrate a monthly pension income of at least $1,000. The process is relatively simple and offers a path to legal residency. In addition to the Pensionado Visa, there is the Rentista Visa for those who have an income of at least $2,500 per month from investments or other sources. Once you've established residency, you can enjoy the benefits of Costa Rica's public health care system, own property, and live in the country year-round. Costa Rica's relatively smooth and straightforward visa process makes it easy for retirees to settle down and enjoy life. While Costa Rica offers many advantages, there are a few challenges to consider before making the move. Costa Rica's tropical climate comes with a rainy season that lasts from May to November. Depending on where you live, you can expect frequent downpours, high humidity, and the occasional flood during this time. The rainy season may affect outdoor activities and make travel more challenging. The country's dry season from December to April is sunny and ideal for outdoor activities, but during the rainy months, heavy rains, particularly in coastal areas, can disrupt daily life. Many expats living in the Central Valley enjoy a more moderate climate with less rainfall, while coastal regions like the OSA Peninsula and Nicoya experience more intense humidity and heat. For retirees who enjoy consistent sunshine, it's important to consider the region and time of year when planning outdoor activities. In popular coastal towns like Tamarindo, Jaco, and Manuel Antonio, tourism can be overwhelming, particularly during the dry season when tourists flock to Costa Rica's beaches. High tourist activity can lead to crowded restaurants, higher prices, and less tranquility in certain areas. If you're looking for a quieter retirement, it may be best to consider less tourist-heavy areas such as the Central Valley, where towns like Grisha and Atenas offer a slower pace of life with fewer crowds. Additionally, visiting tourist areas during the off-season can provide retirees with a more peaceful experience and lower prices. It's important to choose a location that aligns with your desired level of activity and tranquility. Bureaucracy and Paperwork Costa Rica is known for its bureaucracy, and while the residency process is relatively straightforward, dealing with government offices, setting up utilities, and navigating the legal system can be time-consuming. Many expats experience delays when trying to handle paperwork, whether it's for residency applications or registering for public services. For retirees who don't speak Spanish fluently, these processes can be even more challenging. Hiring a local attorney or immigration consultant to help with paperwork can make the process easier and reduce frustration. While Costa Rica's laid-back attitude is part of its charm, it also means that things often move at a slower pace, so patience is key when dealing with administrative tasks. High Import Taxes and Expensive Imported Goods Costa Rica imposes high import taxes on certain goods, particularly electronics, cars, and household items. If you're used to shopping for specific international brands or luxury products, you may find that these items are significantly more expensive in Costa Rica. For example, cars and electronics can cost 30 to 50 percent more due to high import duties. To avoid these additional costs, many retirees choose to purchase local products which are often more affordable. For everyday essentials, Costa Rica's local markets and stores offer a wide range of products at reasonable prices. But if you're looking for imported luxury items, be prepared to pay a premium. Language Barrier Although many Costa Ricans in tourist and expat-heavy areas speak some English, Spanish is the official language, and retirees living in more rural or non-tourist regions may encounter a language barrier. 
Learning basic Spanish will not only make your day-to-day -day life easier, but also help you integrate into the local community. While English is common in areas like San Jose, Escazú, and Tamarindo, if you plan to live in less touristy or rural areas, it's essential to learn some Spanish. Many retirees take language classes or use apps like Duolingo to get by. The effort to learn Spanish is appreciated by locals and helps deepen your experience of Costa Rican culture. Final thoughts. Is Costa Rica the right place for your retirement? Costa Rica offers a beautiful, affordable, and welcoming environment for retirees seeking a laid-back, nature-filled lifestyle. With its low cost of living, high-quality health care, and stunning tropical landscapes, it's easy to see why so many choose Costa Rica for their retirement. However, the challenges of the rainy season, bureaucracy, high import taxes, and potential language barriers are important factors to consider before making the move. So, is Costa Rica the right place for your retirement? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more retirement tips, travel guides, and lifestyle content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.